Before when I was creating desktop apps using Python Tikinta, they looked like this. And now they look like that. And the reason is this new Python library. We are going to create a color selector using Python 3 and this Cree library Custom Tikinta. Of course you already know that you must install Python to work with Custom Tikinta. But what you may not know is that you must at least have the version 3.7 to be able to install later Custom Tikinta. Whether you install the latest version from the home official page of Python or you go to the page related to your operating system, for example Windows, and you select the version you want to install, maybe because of compatibility issues with other libraries you are working with, which is the case for me. So you download the installer, and then you have the option to select or to install the default installation or a customized one. If you click on the customized one, you must be sure that the TCL option is checked. This is the option related to Tikinte. Some of you have already installed Python, but they have issues with Tikinte. They think it's not installed or they found out that it's not installed. So to be sure that everything is okay and everything is installed correctly, go to the installed app, search for Python, click on the three dots, click on modify, click on next, and then you will find all the options installed and check the TCL option. If it's not checked, check it. And it may ask you to give the Python installer. So go to the Python page and select the version that you've installed, download it and continue the modification of the installer. This way you will correct your installation and Tikinta will be installed. Now you have Python installed, you can install custom Tikinta. To do so, you will have simply to use the pip command, pip install custom Tikinta. You may also later want to upgrade it. To do so, write pip install custom Tikinta upgrade. There is a note here, you may have an indication that the packages are not writable. If it's the case, when you open the command prompt, use or open it as administrator and everything will be okay. We have Python and Tikinta installed. We have custom Tikinta installed. Now we can create some apps. First, we are going to import custom Tikinta as CT. Then we will import from custom Tikinta everything and we will import also from Tikinta only the message box because we are going to use a message box later and we will also import another library I don't know how to pronounce it I think it's Piperclip so we will use it to copy and paste some text the new and awesome thing with this library is that you can set the theme and the mode so to set the mode we are going to call set appearance mode there is the light mode, dark mode, or system mode. And we can also set the default color theme with colors already defined for every widget. We don't have to customize anything. So the key you saw at the beginning is automatically created just by selecting the widget without even defining any color for the widget. The only color that we will define is the color of the frame that will display the selected color. So after creating the main window, setting the geometry, the title, as with the old ticking tree, now we are defining or we are going to define the variable that we are going to use with our sliders widget. So when the slider change, these values also will change automatically. And also if we change this values or the variable values, the sliders also will change. So to set the initial values of the sliders, we can do it in different manners. I selected or I choose this one. I set the initial values for the red, green and blue. Since the color selector or to select the colors, we will need only the red and green and blue. To 194 for the red, one 143 for the green and 43 for blue. It's just the color that I've selected. Then I set this color to the frame that I'm going to create, the frame which is also a CTK frame. So we are going to use only custom Tikinter widgets. 
how do you know that you are using custom ticket widgets? They all start with CTK acronym. It means custom ticketer. So CTK frame, we define the main window. Then we will define a color. We could automatically calculate the value of this color from the variables since we know the initial value. So we converted it or I converted it to a scale code and I assigned it not to the background color property like in the Tikinte frame widget but to FJ color. Now we are going to add the frame to our main window. To add the frame we are going to use the grid instead of using pack and instead of using place. So with the custom Tikinte you will use or we can use the same layout managers so and with the same arguments so we defined the row zero column zero the padding y and x and the column span four so all the widgets or the frame will span all the columns reserved for the widgets also we set the width of our frame so for this value that we set for the width and with the padding or the frame will be exactly positioned in the horizontal center of our window now we are going to define the change color method. We see that the change color method has a parameter, a value, which correspond to the value of the sliders. In fact, the change color will be the value of the command argument of the slider that we are going to create. But we are not going to use this value. Why? Because we are going to use the same function for all the slider. So instead of relying on this value, we will simply rely on the variable that we will use later to set the value or the property variable for our slider. So we will get the value of the red, of the green and of the blue. By calling the cat method for each int var. Since the values are from 0 to 255 and they are all int, we need only an int var. So we get the values that are int values. Then we want to change the background color of our frame to correspond to this values. So this method or this function will be called each time one of the sliders will be moved or will change. So we will define the FG color again. There is no background color. It's called the FG color in the CTK frame. We will convert the values that we have, the RGB values to a hex code. How to do that? Simply by using the string formatting. So we will format each value or each int decimal value to an X value positioned in two digits. And we fill the empty or the missing second digit with zero. So right now nothing is appearing because we didn't call main window main loop or the main loop. So we will call the main loop just to check our code if everything is okay. So this is the main window and this is our frame with the initial color. In the change color also we will not only change the background color of the frame but we will also change the value or the text of the labels that will display the value of the sliders. In fact, each time the slider will move, we must know what is the corresponding value. To do that, we will use three labels for the three sliders that we will call aval, jval, and bval. They are not defined here, they will be defined later. We will also configure only the text property to correspond to the values of the red and green and blue color that we selected by using the sliders. Now, after defining the change color function that will be called each time we change the slider position, we are going to create for each color. The first label that will indicate the name of the color. We will create then the slider. Then we will create the, the second label that will indicate the value selected. So the first label it's a CTK label and not a label. Again, a root is its root or its master is the main window.
we are also using the get we can't use another layout now so there will be one after the frame but the column will be zero since it will be the first element to display and for the text will be simply red now we will create the slider which is ctk slider we will now for the values we will define from zero the starting point so the slider can start from zero and then we select the maximum value which is 255 then we will select the number of steps between the zero and 255 there are 255 steps we don't forget to define the variable which is var red that will contain the value when the slider change and of course the command property which is to change color so each time the slider change its position Now we have the third component or widget which is also a CTK label that will indicate the actual value of the slider. Master main window, the text will be the string, the conversion of the int variable related to the red slide or the R slide. Then we will use get to position it. The row is the same as the, the two previous widgets but the column is equal to 2 since it's the third element. We will do the same now with the green color and the blue color. Now we are going to define the copy color. This is a function that will be called when you will click on a button. You will get automatically all the values, copy it. Then you can paste it anywhere in any notepad. So for that, we must again get the values of the colors, red, green, and blue. Then we will convert or create the string that will represent the conversion of these values to a hex color. Then we will create the string corresponding to the RGB color. So the, for the conversion to the hex color, we will use the same formatting that we used to change the FJ color of the CTK frame. But for the RGB, we don't need any conversion. But for the RGB color, we do not need any conversion. We will just need the values as they are, but converted to string, of course. We have the RGB, we have the hex color strings, then we will display a message box to the user so it will know first the values of the color and also to check that the colors are copied well because to display the color in the message box we will not display the values that we created but we will use our paper clip that we imported and uh, we will first copy the rgb and the hex color so we will copy the text now the text is copied to the clipboard now to paste it or to test the pasting we will test it in the message box instead of using the same values we will just call piperclip.past 
Now we will be sure that our text was copied correctly and at the same time we will see the conversion to the hex value of our selected color without needing to paste it elsewhere. Now, if we execute there is a problem here for the positioning of the blue value label and the blue label also. So I will have to check the column. The label corresponding to the value of the key must be in our two. Also here we need to position the blue label and not the green label. So now they, they are positioned correctly. So here we have our FJ color without the R. We need now to add the button to copy and paste our color. So the button also will be a CTK button. We will not define a color, background color, or text color, or anything. We will just create the button. So to create the button, I will call simply the CTK button method with the main window as master or as root. Then just the text label copy to clipboard to indicate that the function will be called, will copy to the clipboard the text selected, or the colors selected. Then we will use get to position it in the main window, or the root window. Row will be 4, and the, the column will be the column 3. We will set also the padding, and uh, that's it. We have our button, we can select any color and we can copy to clipboard and we have the RGB and the hex values to check the correction of the conversion. Here we have our black color, all zeros, and our white color, all F or all 255, which is correct. Now we are going to test the copy past to the clipboard function. I'm gonna just open Notepad and uh, past, and it's working. And by changing one value, I changed this interface from this to that. If you want to know how, drop a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.